Hi there, this is Fun Fridays, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Today is uh, basically a question video, not like a tag, it's questions to you guys out here watching. Focus on my finger. Basically, I'm, I want to get you guys more involved in Series Saturdays and what games I play, because uh, I think they're the main feature of the, ga of, of the game, of the channel, really. They're the sort of... Something that makes, them, makes the channel stand out, it's a bit different to everyone else. But after I've finished... Uh, season two of Walking Dead, which I'm I'm getting close to finishing it. I'm way through episode four. That um, there's there's not that many new games, new like big long playthrough game sort of styles that are coming out. So I want like to choose. I want you guys to choose three of these games that I've chosen. I have a lot of games on my wish list. This is how I've chosen them. And I've gone through the ones that look the, like they could be a more seri serious series. Uh, a bit longer playthrough, a bit, a bit of a longer game, more serious game. But still enjoyable. So I've chosen three from my wish list that are kind of fit in that description. And I want you guys to choose from these. Hopefully you get behind this idea. Maybe you won't. I don't know. If you don't, then I'll just choose one at random. I'll like name generator or something. First one we're going to look at is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now this this game is made by Astronauts. I'm going to tell you who it's made by and a bit of the details about all, each game. So this game is made by Astronauts. Is that actually their first game? And God, does it look good for one for somebody's first game? It's sort of a, a a mystery game. It's got great reviews apparently. Um, it's just sort of a, an a, an exploration walking around discovering stuff sort of game and you piece together the story yourself on, on the way there um from what i can tell i've never seen anything of this game it's got a lot of fucking awards i'll give you that um so it looks it looks very interesting i'm curious about how this would turn out so hopefully oh well, hopefully you like the sound of that maybe you don't uh but leave it in the comments which one you want next game we're going to look at Oz the trailer. <laughs> this game we're gonna look at is called Dream. It's just called Dream. Um This is another exploration game. Um it reminds me a bit it reminds me of two games put together. The first person version of the bridge, if you ever watched any of those videos. It reminds me a bit of Portal. I've never seen any of the, anything of this game. I think this is this developer's first game on Steam as well. Um, it looks it looks quite interesting. It's got a, a weird art style for each level. It looks like it's got good level design. It's mostly positive. It hasn't got many reviews. It came out um, this year, so it's that quite recent. The other one was from last year. But you you're sort of you're playing inside someone's head, basically, is what it is. What the story is. Uh, Howard Phillips had to be specific, but it, it's I don't know. I'm curious about this game, but at the same time, I'm not sure about it. I'm a bit unsure. So maybe that one. I don't know. Uh, it's up to you guys. The last game we're gonna look at is called Never Alone. I'm not even gonna try and say it in the, the stuff in the bra brackets because I'm just gonna butcher the language. And um, it's it it looks like a gorgeous game. It's but I don't know, it seems like one of those games that's going to give you a really strong emotional attachment to the characters in it. It's a 2D platformer, which I kind of like, thought of, of has, having it as a series, like a more serious series. It's an, an indie game, it's like an adventure of a boy and his dog or fox or wolf, I don't know what it is. You're sort of in the Arctic wilderness sort of setting. It looks very interesting, when did it come out? came out less than a year ago, so it's not that old. It sets the mood, the colours are very bland, but at the same time they're very bright and bold, if that makes sense. Like it's very one colour based, there's not it's not very like multicoloured. But the colours that are there stand out and they give like such a they create an atmosphere for the level and the sort of stuff you're gonna be doing in the level. An adventure game again, I don't know if I already said that, it's... I like the look of this one. I do, I really like the look of it. It's 
So I'm, to be honest, my personal opinion, I'm leaning towards this one. But I don't know. It's up to you guys. I want to get you guys more involved in the channel and choosing what games we play. And it just seems right that you choose what games you want to see. And if you like a certain game out of these. I, if you want to recommend stuff for the next series Saturdays, go ahead. I'll check it out. Then I'll put them in the next three if I choose it. It's good. I'm I'm liking this idea. Hopefully you get behind it. And hopefully you like some of the games. At least one of the games that I've shown you here. And if you do, write it in the comments. Or, I don't know. Yeah, you'll have to just write it in the comments. There's no other way of doing it. But like, favorite, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like this video. Well, I don't know why you would like this video. But if you like the idea of this, please like this video. Because I, it seems like a good idea. I'm going to blow my own trumpet or anything. But... I will see you in the next one.